What's up guys and welcome back to another episode and this is really going to be a special one because we have a pair of unreleased shoes here. We do have the CPFM, the Cactus Plant Flea Market Dunk here or as the box says the Nike CPFM Flea 1. So I'm assuming there will be maybe a Flea 2 or a Flea 3. I'm not sure. I wanted to bring this to you guys because I have not seen many reviews on YouTube. I want to say there's one guy that did do a review on it but he didn't even show an on feet. So we're going to get into some of the sizing, some of the details of the shoe, and yes, I will be showing you guys this on feet, the first for YouTube. Upon first glance, what do you guys think about these? I really thought that this shoe would look much better with this white swoosh here on both pairs, but as you guys can see on this one, you don't get that. You just get the little yin yang symbol here. Quality on these shoes is excellent. This looks like a $300 retail shoe. Like I, I'm don't know what retail is going to be because actually here on the box here on the box it just says suggested retail usd so it doesn't actually give us a price uh, which is interesting but this is the box i do want to show this to you for the people that may wonder uh, what's all inside so you do have this cpfm this is cpfm air nike paper of course you have the white tissue paper there's really not a lot special to this box. It says add sunshine here on the side. Uh, of course you get the yin yang. I'm not really a box guy like I could really care less uh, but inside the box you do get this dust bag here which says just do it. Of course the little yin yang sign. All of this is embroidered so the quality is very very nice. Not that I would ever use the dust bag but it is a nice touch. And then also you have this that was attached to the shoes which I took it off. On this side it does say be kind unsensitive Nike CPFM Flea 1 will age improve with extended wear. Personally guys I think this thing looks absolutely phenomenal. Again we'll touch base on the quality. So this stuff right here which looks like mud I thought this would rub off. It doesn't rub off like it like nothing will come off. You can pull at it. I guess I did pull a speck off there but this seems very durable. I don't know how this would perform if getting wet though. I don't know if it's waterproof or not. Obviously the top here part of it's suede. I don't know what kind of material is here on the toe box but it is done exceptionally well i mean just take a look at the stitching like this almost gives me the vibe of it being a designer shoe and, and i guess in a way it is the embroidery here is done extremely well of course these little check things here they're all embroidered we'll take a look at this shoe here this is also embroidered where it says cpfm incredible quality this is very very padded in fact the whole inside of the shoe is padded and it's very narrow inside like just take a look at the insole and look how thin this is like <laughs> this has got to be like two inches across right here in the middle so you guys can see how narrow the shoe is on the inside now according to the date code <laughs> this was manufactured between june 11th of last year and december 7th some of these shoes could already be over a year old but let's talk about the lacing for a second on this side you get this rope lacing this one you get this flat uh really wide green lacing personally i think this rope lacing looks the best and if I was going to keep this pair then I would switch out the green lacing with this rope lacing because you do get extras here in the bag you get the flat lace version and of course the rope lace version now something I really just want to dive into real quick is the sizing because I've seen a lot of people talk about the sizing online and how these are rumored to be canceled because the sizing is so off the sizing isn't as off as some of you guys may think when I first put these on I'm a true to size 12 and these are a size 12 in my toe is touching right here at the end now i will tell you that if i was just going out to dinner somewhere or if i was not walking a lot but you know going to be seated most of the time i could probably get away with these and be comfortable but if i plan on going somewhere and walking like i don't know a couple miles for whatever reason this is definitely would not be the shoe that i would choose my sizing recommendation is at a minimum go a half size up if you can go a full size up so if you're a little bit smaller like if you're a size nine go for a 10 or if a 10 is not available try to get a nine and a half the issue that i'm running into is that there's never been a size 13 listed on goat or StockX that i've seen there's been 
no record of sales yet. So my only option is a 12 and a half. But even then, there's only been two that have been sold on StockX ever in a 12 and a half. And there's currently none for sale at the moment. So that being said, I want this shoe to wear. <laughs> I don't want it to be just a display piece. So I will be listing this shoe up for sale because I want to get my, I want to try to get my size, which in this case, I'll have to go for a 12 and a half. Unless these actually really do release, then I'll spring for the 13. But that's kind of my recommendation on the sizing. I did take the insole out and I tried it on without the insole to see if it helped and it didn't. It still didn't correct the length for me, which my toe still hit the front here. Again, it's manageable. Uh, it's not as bad as what you really think, but people talked about that these were really narrow. So let's talk about it being narrow for a second. So what I did, the first time I tried them on, I really didn't think they were that narrow. They, like that, that thought didn't even cross my mind. The second time I tried them on, it did. So what I did is I loosened up all these laces and I really just like widened the shoe out as much as I could. And that actually fixed any feeling of it being narrow. I don't know if the other people who have reviewed this shoe have tried that. I'm sure they have. For me, it worked. For me, especially on this on this shoe here, I really widened this out as much as I can and loosened up these laces to where being narrow wasn't a big deal anymore. It was more or less the length. But with all that being said, why don't we just try them on, see what you guys think, and let's go from there. So what are your guys' impressions of the cactus plant flea market dunks? Personally guys, like as I've already mentioned, <laughs> I'm in absolute love with this shoe. Mainly because it's so different. Based on all the stuff I have back here, I just like the unique and things just that don't look like every other shoe. And considering that these are very rare and hard to come by, I think it's a great choice for any collector out there. Unfortunately for me, I am the type of collector where I only like to collect my sizes, <laughs> meaning that if I want to choose to wear them, I'll wear them. And that's something I kind of have changed for this year is that I really wanted to start wearing a lot of the shoes that I did have. And I wanted to focus more on exclusivity for the collection that I do have. And just get rid of all the shoes that I just simply either don't wear or they just don't have that exclusive feel to them anymore. That being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my mini review on these. <laughs> Be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe as this really helps me out. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys thought about this. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.